What's going on guys? Welcome back to Samurai Radio and I first like to start this video by saying that I am going to put out more Miami Dolphins videos either sometime later tonight which is Saturday the 24th of September or uh, tomorrow before the Dolphins game. I've been having a lot of issues if you haven't seen any of my videos I've explained it really at the beginning of each video uh, with my Mac and its hard drive so there have been a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of issues with it and so I am building a computer which should be done hopefully in two to three weeks which means that uh, videos will no longer be delayed and I can get them out quick and I'll have better software. Everything will just be better. So now let's get into the video. As you guys see by the title, it's going to be something involving Steve Clevenger. And if you guys didn't hear about it, Steve Clevenger is a backup catcher for the Seattle Mariners. And I know I'm going into some uh, baseball things here, but he's a backup catcher for Seattle Mariners. And he made some very controversial tweets on his uh, Twitter I think it was the other, if not yesterday, it was the day before. And I'm going to read off the tweets to you guys. I'm taking this from Undisputed, which is uh, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless's show on FS1. But I couldn't find the tweets myself, so I decided to take it from there. So hopefully I do not uh, get copyrighted on my video. But if you see something that isn't Undisputed, that means that I found it. So hopefully no copyright, right? So... Read off here, it says, black people beating whites when a thug got shot holding a gun by a black officer. Ha, ha, ha. Shit cracks me up. Keep kneeling for the anthem. Then the second tweet you put is, BLM, Black Lives Matter, is pathetic once again. Obama, you are pathetic once again. Everyone involved should be locked behind bars like animals. Now, before I put anything from mine, we're going to read the Seattle Mariners issued statement. The Seattle Mariners are very disappointed at the tweets posted on Steve Clevenger's account. While he is certainly free to express himself, his tweets do not in any way represent the opinions of the Seattle Mariners. We strongly disagree with the language and tone of his comments. We are currently examining all internal options that are available to us as we determine appropriate next steps. We will have no further comments at this time. So, I watched the video, 17-minute video from undisputed yesterday on the 23rd as i can't i'm in school when the show's on so i just catch the videos uh when they put them up and this especially hearing it from skip and shan sharp and especially shannon sharp hit me really hard because these tweets are the reason why there are riots going on especially in north carolina like these tweets, these comments, these racial f fueled comments are the reason why these riots are going on. The reason why people are, especially of a different color than white, a different race than just Caucasian, are feeling oppressed in the United States of America. And you see it primarily with African Americans. And it's just something so huge in this in this world for like well in this country it's so huge in the united states of america i just don't understand why and so let's take a look and analyze some of the tweets so we're gonna go back to the first one he had and it was black people beating whites when a thug got shot holding a gun by a black officer ha ha explicit i'm pretty sure he said shit cracks me up keep kneeling for the anthem now in what way does steve clevenger Sitting at his, either on his computer, he's on his phone, he's typing this, and he thinks, yeah, this isn't going to be a PR nightmare. Tweet. What way in your mind did you think that this was never going to get out to the public? Everything. It doesn't matter if you are a backup set, like, backup catcher. You tweet something out like that, it will catch fire. Someone will see it. This is Twitter. Out of all places, this is Twitter. Things on Twitter spread like wildfire. Twitter is the number one place where if you tweet something, even if it's out for 10 seconds, someone will see it and you are fucked. You are screwed. You do not put tweets out like this. Listen, you can have the most racial thoughts in the entire world. I do not give a damn how you think about anything in terms of racial, like about you hating a certain race. I don't care. Keep that shit to yourself. But the fact that you're putting it on Twitter is so stupid. Like, be racist. There are a lot of racist people in this world. You know what? Go ahead. 
you know, be racist, be who you want to be, but don't put that out on Twitter because then you're fucked. Like, don't do that type of shit. Don't put that shit on Twitter. Don't put it on Instagram. Don't put it on Facebook. Don't put it on Snapchat. Don't. And we saw it. There was what? I think like a, a Playboy model or something or, or something that put some Snapchat out and it says, if you can't unsee this, then I can't either of an old lady changing in a gym shower. Like, don't do that stuff. Do people not get that your entire career can be fucked? Listen, if you're racist, you shouldn't be in the first place. I mean, what is this? It's 2016 going on 2017 and we still have this like racial divide as if we're still in the fucking 1800s, 1700s. I mean, are you kidding me? It's crazy in the first place. And these tweets like this, these thoughts like this are why the country is so racially divided in the first place. But if you're going to think this way, you know what? You have the right to think whatever way you want to. Not I know, nor, nor no one else can force you to think a certain way, but do not, do not put that out to the media. Not only will you be screwed, it'll cause riots, which are not needed. Protest, okay, but there are riots, that's not needed. And we all know that. It doesn't matter who you are. You know that riots are not needed. It's We don't need this. We really don't. People dying, it doesn't matter what race you are. Death is a horrible thing. Murder is a horrible thing. Destroying property is a horrible thing. And it's not just African-American people who do it. There are white people who go out and kill. And they don't get the same amount of... They don't get the same treatment that African-Americans do. African-Americans get treated harsher. Um, Hispanics get treated harsher. Jews. uh, Freaking... any. I mean, I could go down the list. Everyone gets treated harsher... Rather than just plain old white Caucasian people, which it's true. It's a thing in America. Like a lot of people deny it and it's true. They get treated differently. And Shannon Sharp said it best. I can't do it. I can't quote him, but I can say just what the gist of it was is that he, and it's made, he's made a couple of comments about this week, how he said that if he gets pulled over, he's already fearing for his life. Shannon Sharp is a, Famous, famous guy, super good tight end, won good amount, won a couple Super Bowls. And if Shannon Sharp, out of all people, is fearing his life, I think Ray Lewis said the same thing. He gets pulled over and he's fearing his life. That is insane to me. The fact that you cannot, even if you're getting pulled over just for speeding or something, the fact that you could be speeding and you get pulled over. And you're fearing for your life. You're afraid that you are going to die. Is insane to me. Like it's crazy. And he said it best. He said he fears that he will die. That he says yes sir. No sir. Yes ma'am. No ma'am. And tries to get out of there. Because if he feels like he says one wrong thing. It doesn't matter who he is. That he will get shot. And there are tweets like this. From Steve Clevenger. A backup fucking catcher. For the goddamn Seattle fucking Mariners. Which we'll get to them in a second. Tweets like that. Like I said. You could support. I mean. You could support Trump. You could support Hillary. You could support any fucking political person. In the goddamn United States of America. You could support any ideology. Any. Anything. In your life. But you have to agree. You don't. You don't have to. But. There's a bit of agreeance. In between a lot of people. That this is fucked up. Like, tweets like this are fucked up people with this mindset. I mean, this is goddamn 2016, and we're still thinking like this. It's crazy. Crazy. And, and then and then he tweets, go to the second one now. Black Lives Matter is pathetic once again. Obama, you are pathetic once again. Everyone involved should be locked behind bars like animals. First of all, What does Obama have to do with people rioting because a cop shot yet another African-American? Now, of course, there's a lot of things behind it where we don't know if he had a gun. We don't know if he had a book. There's not enough footage. You can't clearly tell. Either way, someone is dead. He was left on the street to die. Somebody is dead. Doesn't matter. The person was shot and they were killed. 
Doesn't matter if they had a book. Doesn't matter if they have a gun. We don't have video evidence. We don't have anything. But guess what? He's dead. <laughs> what does his death have to do with Obama? I would just like to know. I mean, if somebody in the comments could tell me, that'd be nice. But what does it have to do with that? And then you say everyone involved should be locked behind bars like animals. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me, Steve Clevenger? Come on, man. Like, that is just... I mean, I can't believe it. Like, that's just insane. And then... Let's go to Seattle Mariners comments from Jerry DePoto. Seattle Mariners are very disappointed at the tweets posted on Steve Clevenger's account. While he is certainly free to express himself, his tweets do not in any way represent the opinions of the Seattle Mariners. We strongly disagree with the language and tone of his comments. It's the first half of it. Let's break it down by sentence. So Seattle Mariners are very disappointed at the tweets posted on Steve Clevenger's account. Well, no shit you're disappointed. Now you're... Now your club is going to get so much hate coming towards you because you support someone who's, who you you have someone on your team who supports racial divide, which is horrible. I mean, like I said, it's 2016. It's not 1776. It's not the 1800s. I mean, it's not like we're in the Civil War period of America. I mean, it's insane. So you have that already. That's the start of it. And then you go on to say, while he is certainly free to express himself, his tweets do not in any way represent the opinions of the Seattle Mariners. I mean, I wouldn't think that a club like the Seattle Mariners would support a guy like Steve Clevenger tweeting out such racial comments. I mean, it doesn't matter. Even if you're the owner of the Seattle Mariners, you're like, wow, you know what? I agree with him. I don't think you would support that either way because this is a public statement. No shit you don't support it. You think your PR team is going to let you put out, well, we support what he has to say, but no, no shit, man. Come on. We strongly disagree with the language and tone of his comments. No shit. Whoever's the PR team for Seattle Mariners, man, good job for having common sense, but come on. Got to make a better statement than that. And then we are currently examining all of our internal options that are available to us as we determine appropriate next steps. We have no further comments at this time. What next steps do you need to do? <laughs> to be perfectly fair, if this was anybody else, eh, shit, they probably would have already been suspended. I mean, the players union would probably take the suspension down at all costs. I mean, at least find the man. That's the best. You, I mean, that's that's not even the best you could do. That's the least you could do is just find the man. I mean, this is a very touchy subject, and I hope that the Seattle Mariners can do something about this. And, I mean, this is just crazy. I strongly believe that Steve Clevenger is in the wrong, and I strongly believe that something needs to be done. I'm not the type of person that can sit here and tell you everything about Black Lives Matter, I tell you everything about racial diversity because if you look at my skin tone, I'm white. I'm not black. I'm not tan. I'm straight up like white. I mean, my arms are a little tan, but I'm white. I'm not, I can't sit here and tell you that I've been racially discriminated. I can't sit here and tell you that this is the life I've been living. And I can't sit here and be and tell you how it is in these neighborhoods because I haven't experienced that. But as hearing from people like nationwide, hearing from my own father, who is an African-American male, about how things were when he was growing up as a kid, hearing about all of this and thinking that that's around what, the 60s, the 70s of the 1900s, and this is the 2000s, it's 2017, and we're still like this, it hurts. And it hits hard because this is something that we do not need. It's something that is not needed, especially tweets like this, especially racial discrimination like this, racial comments like this. I don't know what the Seattle Mariners are going to do, but something definitely should be done. I will see you guys next time. Like I said, Dolphins video should be coming out soon. And that's really all I have on the Steve Clevenger situation. I hope you did enjoy if you did make sure that you subscribe comment down below and also like the video 
and tell your friends as this is um channel's getting interesting i'll see you guys next time this has been samurai radio once again i will see you guys peace